Welcome back, everybody, to another London Boys Market Recap. This video here is going to be on another trade that we were able to take for this week, April 5th through April 10th, 2020. This video is going to be on U.S. oil. Another trade that we were able to execute on this week. I'll give you guys another top-down analysis on how we were able to look at this market. And this video is going to be key on knowing when to take your profits, what levels to take your profits at with a super volatile pair like this pair right here. And you can be up hundreds of hundreds of pips and watch this market come right back to you. So we're going to get started. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have those notifications on so you don't miss anything. We're going to be dropping a lot, a lot of value here. So Let's just get started, guys. Uh, we're going to start off on the monthly time frame again on this pair, especially since looking at this pair, U.S. oil, I mean, we are at a low, a, the lowest we've ever been going back to 2001. Of course, with, um, with the crisis that's going on in the world today and all this political news, has been driving the price of oil all the way down. I mean, the consumption of oil is at a very all time low at this moment. So, as you can see here on the monthly time frame, we are clearly, clearly in a bearish trend on the higher time frame. But we came down to a level that is pretty significant. Now, how do we know this? I'm just going to highlight this level here, starting off on our monthly time frame. And how do we know this is a significant level? Well, if we look back, now we got to go all the way back here. This is 2002, 2001. But we can see here around this price range, we got some significant uh bullish price swings around here right if if you look at my highlighted area we got this consolidation area and big bullish price swing up we have this consolidation right here right around the same zone price traded down and then came back up aggressively came back to this zone and came back up aggressively so we we want to look at this as a significant significant level on uh u.s oil this about twenty dollars a barrel, nineteen dollars a barrel, floating around that that range, twenty twenty one. Um, it was very very significant price level, where we've seen some pretty big price swings in the past. So this you don't want to ignore this stuff, guys. You want to have these looking back on your charts and and seeing this type of big price swing on this key level here. What is what do we know about history? History does tend to repeat itself, right? So that's something we want to mark off on our monthly time frame. And we're going to drop down to our weekly. Our weekly time frame is going to be very similar, of course, to the monthly. But now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Actually, I'm going to zoom out one more time just to give you another look of our weekly time frame you got your nice bullish price swing again around this area a lot of consolidation a lot of price movement around this area pretty some pretty pretty significant bounces around this area so we want to have that your zones marked up your high time frame zones of course this is very very strong bearish trend but this is a level that it came to that we can expect some type of bounce. Not saying that it can't break through, of course, but this is a key level where you can expect to see some jump in price. We've seen it before in the past, and of course, history does repeat itself. So looking at the 
weekly time frame, we have a swing low. We have a nice swing in price where this candle's low is lower than the one to the left and the right, and we get a nice bullish candle for the previous week. So that's something we want to have noted there on our weekly time frame. And dropping down to the daily, another swing low here on the daily, some pretty big explosive bullish candles here. And of course we have some retracement. So just looking at this daily time frame, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Price came up into the zone, gave a little bit of a bounce, drove price lower again, and we got our swing in price. So we came in, actually on the previous week, we were bullish on this pair as well. Uh, we actually bought a little bit early. I ended up having a pretty much close, like break even. And for again, this is when this market is really gonna test your patience, guys, because the bias was right, but we weren't able to capitalize on this big, huge price swing. Kind of just broke even because Again, you never know with this pair. It's very, very volatile. So decided to just save my capital, not really risk it. And But of course, price ended up going the way we expected it to go. So seeing this huge price swing here on the four-hour time frame gave us our bullish bias to go into this previous, uh, this upcoming week. Got a nice little turtle soup here with this wick, clearing out all these lows. And then price came back, reinvested into this area and just shot up and away. So we got our bullish bias here. Understanding that you don't want to be picking lows. That's, that's, that's one thing that's very, very important. So that's another reason why I decided to just break even on this trade, even though it did end up going our way. Uh, but you, you don't, you, this is a very, very volatile pair. So it could have easily, easily tanked on us and we weren't trying to risk that. So, but it was good to see that the bias was, was correct. And we did get that bounce that we were expecting. So coming into this week, we wanted to wait, wait for a little retracement. We had some gaps in price here. And we wanted to see these gaps get filled up and maybe look for a buy towards the middle of the week. So I'm going to show you guys again, dropping down to the one hour time frame. Same stuff, guys. Same stuff every week. Opening up the week, April 5th. We want to mark off our weekly open and our opening price for the week. And this is our weekly open right here. This is a oil is a commodity, so they open at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Convert that wherever you guys are to your time zones. We're on the East Coast, so market opens at, this particular market, U.S. oil opens at 6 p.m for us here on the East Coast. Going into the week with our bullish buys, we wanted to wait for price to come below the market opening because we want to be buying at a low. We want to be buying at a discounted price. We don't want to be buying when price is still kind of high, especially in the market structure. We were in some highs. We got these retracements down. Now, if you would have shorted this market right here, now that's a great trade. Uh, I would, you know, that's a wonderful amount of pips right here, just shorting this market. I mean, coming from here down to here, we're talking about 200, 300 pips here. Then on a pair like this can move easily in a day, 300, 400, 500 pips, a pair like US oil. So this is pretty standard price action for US oil about a two, 300 pip drop down below the market opening. 
we got our nice long wick here and then we started to see price rally up now this is when we started to look for our possible buy scenarios why we want to look for buy scenarios here well we've seen price was willing to trade up on this area let me highlight here we have our key zone here on the one hour and we've seen here a lot of these wick rejections to the downside price was not willing to go much lower here and we got a nice big rally up before our retracement back down but once price came down into this very same area where it was willing to bounce before we wanted to look for some possible buy scenarios again if i drag this along what do we know about our key areas our key areas are where price tends to consolidate look at this consolidation zone right here so we had this marked up as a pretty significant zone where we might get another buy opportunity so we want to have that level marked off price was not willing to go lower before we didn't really want to see it trade any lower than this we wanted to see it hold its bullish structure and rally back up so that's something you want to have noted and going into the week uh this was wednesday april 8th eight o'clock for new york session you got our big bullish rally here and we did not enter here we said guys let's let's wait let's wait for this market to retrace a little bit and as you see this next hour candle comes right back down into let me let me delete this right here but once price traded above this last down candle we wanted to have this level highlighted now if price truly is bullish and it wants to jump at at this key zone over here we want to have this candle marked off and we don't want to see price trade close below this candle it's very very key if if it would have closed below here then you probably would have anticipated some more bearish price action but we have this candle marked here you see you get price trades into it comes back down a little lower and this pair i could tell you as far as time and price tends to move later in the day uh, it's very much new york session pair uh it can give you of course highs and lows during london session um asian sometimes as well but for the most for the most part high probability this is late new york session you can look for a move on u.s oil so we got our pop-up at new york opening 9 a.m gave you a nice bullish rally but for some people let's say you would have caught this bullish rally right here some people would have rushed to put their stop loss at break even and i'm sure guys all the traders here i'm sure there's everybody's experienced that where you put your stop loss to break even price comes back taps you out and just goes the goes away that you that you wanted it to go i'm sure that's happened to all of us right i mean it's happened to us as well and that's why it's very important the patience part and you don't want to rush to put your stop loss at break even all the time risk management is something that's very important in this market so if you're rushing to put your stop loss at break even maybe you're over leveraging your account maybe you know you you need to get your emotions in check but you want to just let if you have an analysis if you're expecting price to go to a certain level um you want to just let price do its thing if you have your stop loss we had our stop loss underneath this wick here um, i'm on the 15 minute now i dropped down to the 15 minute to show you the entry but you want to we had our stop loss below this low this is the low that we wanted to see not get taken out and going down to the 15 minute time frame you can calibrate your order block now to this candle this 15 minute candle 
This is now our last bearish candle before our aggressive price move up. So coming down here, you just got to be patient. Let price come down. Trust your analysis. We don't want price to break below here. And as soon as price came into this zone, this 15-minute order block, we bought. We bought right there. It was about late in the day, again, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The four-hour candle opens at about 2 p.m., if I'm not mistaken, on U.S. oils. So this is a little bit different than your regular Forex pairs because this is a commodity market. So you've got to keep that in mind, guys. If you're a brand-new trader, um, I, honestly, I wouldn't even uh, suggest you to trade this market because of the volatility is very, very insane. So this is a market I wouldn't even suggest to new traders, but for those more experienced guys or those that like volatile markets, this is definitely something that's very, very profitable if you're in the right side of it. So this trade right here came into our order block. We bought immediately. We bought, we had our buys. We had our daily swing low, our buy structure on the four hour, one hour time frame, zoning, zooming out, our reaction to our key, key um, weekly level and monthly level. We got our reactions that we wanted. So we came in with the bias and we stuck to it. Price aggressively traded up. I mean, this was a great trade for us. It's about 200. Uh, about 300 pips we ended up catching it, it, just these in one hour it just shot up like 200 pips so this was an incredible trade right here very explosive took some profits left the runner on for the next day wanted to see some higher prices and now this is where understanding where to take your profit right you always want to take your profit at these previous levels over here especially considering a market like this as well. Um, you can be up 200 pips, 300 pips. And as you see here, watch this market come all the way down. So what we really wanted to see, our objective, our central bank objective was to take out these clean highs that we spoke about. We're going to be speaking about this a lot because this, this is going to be our objectives in price when we're looking for price to where to take our profits at, where to scale out profits, close half your position, close 80%, close all of your position. So this is what you're going to be looking at these certain key levels. So once price came into this area right here, took half my position off, left a little runner on and it was good. Price rallied up the next day. We got this, little stop hunt here of these lows now what do we know about these clean lows price is always gonna reach for this liquidity so notice how before price comes up here it makes sure to anybody that trailed their stop loss up aggressively knocks them right out and then gives you another hundred and something pip move so in total we were able to bank about 280 pips on this trade so very, very profitable trade. And the guys, we mentioned to the guys, listen, take your profits here. Once price came up into this level and you get this, especially seeing such a long wick rejection like this of these previous highs, we're like, we're out of this market. I took 100% of my position off. I was fully out of this market because I knew to anticipate this market can probably come right back down. And that's exactly what happened. We didn't catch this short here. We didn't care for it. We profited on our long position here, this one quick buy, but this is the importance of knowing when to get in the market and when to get out the market. There's no wrong direction, guys. So, in, I mean, in a day or in a week, you know, that's the beauty of this market, guys. There can be people profitable on this down move, and there's people profitable on this up move. And there's people profitable on this down move and on this up move. There's, there's, no, there's no wrong way. 
There's there's no wrong way to to make money in this market as long as you know when to get in and when to get out. Because if you if you were short here and you were up all these pips and you didn't take your profit, you just watch the market come right back to you and eventually stop you up. Because this is what this this price swing right here came to grab all this liquidity resting above here. Any all the short holders, all the breakout traders, people that were bullish expecting for price to break out and continue to the upside, well, they got trapped. They got their orders tagged in, their pending orders, their buy stops got activated, and look at the aggressive move right back down. So these are the up, up and down swings of this market, especially a market like this, super volatile. So taking your profits, guys, is super key. And this is a great lesson in this video. That's why we wanted to go over this trade because we, we were able to profit on this move and we wanted to show you guys what can happen if you don't take your profits. If you don't take your profits, end of the week, aggressive, aggressive move back down. And for us as well, if we didn't, if we would have moved our stop to break even or just left my stop where it was, it would have got tagged out because these are also some clean levels right here. So the market is going to want to take everybody out on each direction. And that's pretty much what they did here. They took the short holders out, long holders out. But if you understand price action and understand when to get in, when to get out, you, you can navigate in these type of markets. You can be profitable in these type of markets just knowing when to take your position off. So something definitely want to keep in mind, guys. This is a, a great lesson here in this video. So us personally, this is a trade we wanted to share with you guys because this was a profitable trade for us, but it could have easily went not profitable. We could have easily lost money on this trade if we decided to be greedy. I mean, why would you be greedy with 300 pips, right? I mean. This ultimately went up about 370. I mean, if I'm looking from, from here to the wick, 400 pips. So, I mean, if you're not happy with 400 pips, you're not happy with 200 pips. You don't even need to be holding this position all the way. I mean, I took half my position off here. Out of 200, I said, I'm out. And I left a small position on. But once I started seeing this crazy volatility, this price action here. I said, I'm out. I'm out of this move. And thank God we did because price came all the way back down aggressively. And that's something that I mentioned early on the video where you really, you don't want to be picking lows and picking, you don't want to be picking lows in a bear market and you don't want to be picking highs in a bull one. So on, this, on a smaller time frame basis, on a one hour, four hour, even a daily, um, we got our, our, our price reversal where we wanted to capitalize on, but zooming out on this market, I mean, we're clearly in an aggressive bearish trend. So I'd love to be catching this move up here. I want to see oil, and I think it will. I believe it will um, come up and fill this, this gap area over here around you know, $37 a barrel maybe even up to $40 a barrel. I would love to see it come up there, but I'm not gonna just buy and hold on and just waiting for it to come up there. I understand the ups and downs of this market, the crazy volatility, especially with what's going on in the world right now, guys. We wanna be aware of everything. We wanna be in and out of these markets, taking our profits, paying yourself. That's the key here. It's not about holding your position and, hey, I caught 1,000 pips, I caught 500 pips, 2,000 pips, you know, just to, just to impress your friends. This, it's not what this is about. We're, we're, we're here to make money, right? We're here to feed our families. So understanding that paying yourself is first and foremost in this market. And if you're not looking to pay yourself, <laughs> the market ain't going to do it for you guys. You got, you got to, in this, in this business, you got to pay yourself. 
It ain't nobody else is gonna pay you in this business. So that's something you absolutely wanna be on point with. But this was a great trade for us. We were able to capitalize on this daily candle right here. And price came back up, cleared the highs that we wanted, and aggressively traded back down. Aggressively taking back down all the long holders. So that was our trade on U.S. oil. Wanted to share with you guys so you can understand that taking your profits in this market is very, very key. And looking at this market for the upcoming week, let me just take these drawing off. Uh, I would like to see how price is going to react around here. So I'm on the weekly time frame now, and I'm going to highlight this bullish order block here and i see it as a bullish order block because we have this swing this aggressive bull candle up now we got our retracement back notice how price closed well it didn't close below it closed right at this order block so it's going to be very very interesting this week guys to see if it's if price is willing to go lower or is it just gonna pause and maybe consolidate and maybe give us a, another possible buy entry? So that's what we're gonna be looking for for this week. Let's look at the daily, how that lines up on the daily. That's our weekly order block. And it could come down right here to this daily order block. As I mentioned in, the, in our last video, as you go, you wanna mark up your higher time frame levels and then as you go down in the lower time frames, you can refine and calibrate these levels and really get more and more precise. So we can possibly look for this daily order block and see how price reacts around here, see if we get another bounce. But these are the levels that I'm going to be looking for for this upcoming week. But I do want to keep in mind that we are still in a bearish market until further notice. Until, until these highs get cleared, first these highs and definitely these highs, we want to see these highs get cleared before actually saying we have turned the corner into a, a real bull market. So I would want to see these highs get traded above, close above cleanly, Maybe come back down, retest into it, and trade back up before I really call this a reversal or a bull market. But until further notice, these are the levels that we're going to be looking for. So that's a little insight into this upcoming week to see what we can get on U.S. oil. Can we get some more upside or is price going to want to take out these liquidity that's resting down here? So. It's going to be very, very interesting to see, guys. But this is our video for U.S. oil for this week, our trade, and wanted to share this, this video with you guys so you can understand that taking your profits is key. So look forward to talking to you guys next time. Make sure to hit that like button. Follow us on Instagram, London Boys Official. And I'll see you guys next week.